Hi, I'm Kelsey, and this is Holy Monday. An Easter tradition I enjoy since I was a child is the sunrise service. It was really impactful to me, getting up before the sunrise and gathering in fellowship in the quiet and stillness before the sunrise to meet with God, remembering Jesus' resurrection. In today's devotion, it's the morning after Jesus' triumphal entry into the holy city, but Jesus knows this isn't going to be a meek and mild Monday. He's walking with his disciples and he gets hungry. Uh, he sees a fig tree in the distance and he's relieved because he knows that it will satiate his hunger. Upon closer inspection, he, re he realizes that there isn't any fruit and he curses the fig tree. Uh, he and his disciples go on to the temple and again, from a distance, it has the appearance of religious activity. There's temple sacrifices and people bringing offerings. But upon closer inspection, it's really just being used as a marketplace and the temple leaders are changing money and exploiting the people passing through. This makes Jesus really angry. In the same way, the fig tree had the appearance of fruit. Jesus doesn't like the appearance of religiosity that doesn't bear fruit. That comes with repentance and reverence for God. Um, a thought I take away from today's devotion is in the Easter story, which is the pinnacle of Jesus' ministry on earth and our faith as Christians. There's a beautiful reminder of Jesus' humanity through his hunger. Jesus had to be a man so that he could identify with us, suffering in our place and sympathizing with us in our weakness. Jesus felt pain and hunger. He was tempted. He knows the trials we face and the pain we live with firsthand. This gives us the ability to have a real relationship with Christ.